Hey guys, welcome to another IGCSE Biology Revision video. Today we're going to be going through a couple of MCQ questions on the topic of human nutrition. I'm going to give you five questions and I'm going to show it to you now. And I want you to time yourself and try to solve these within four minutes. So as I show you the questions, I want you to pause the video, time yourself and see how you go. So I hope you all found that pretty easy. Um, this first question was really just about the understanding of the fact that in the saliva, uh, you have a pH of a fairly neutral condition, so therefore the amylase that you find there will have a pH of roughly 7. And the, the, the pancreas or the pancreatic lipase that you find in the small intestine within the pancreatic juice has a pH of slightly higher than 7 in a very slightly alkaline condition, therefore this second uh, uh, second graph right next to the middle graph here was meant to be the pancreatic lipase. So that uh, sort of brings us to the last uh, most left graph here which is the stomach protease uh, which is called pepsin and uh, as you know stomach has very acidic conditions and the proteases and the, the pepsin that you find there have low optimum pHs that you can see which translates to approximately 2 in this graph here so therefore the answer was A. The second question the answer was D because as we've talked about before briefly the protease that you find in the stomach is called pepsin um, and they of course break apart ami uh, sorry proteins into smaller amino acid units as with any other protease and the third question was the answer was C because iron is used to make hemoglobin which is what you find in red blood cells so if you have a lack of iron then you're not going to be able to make as much red blood cells so therefore you'll get a reduction in the count of red blood cells in the body uh, fourth question here, in which part of the alimentary canal do chemical digestion and mechanical digestion take place? Uh, the answer here was C. In the mouth, you have the teeth that mechanically breaks apart food into smaller pieces, and you also have amylase, uh, which is an enzyme, as we talked about in saliva, that chemically breaks apart starch into maltose. And this last question, of the human teeth. Uh, you can see in the diagram that they are missing some certain types of teeth and those are molars so therefore the answer was C. Since the molars are missing and the molars have a function of grinding food then this particular person will have difficulty doing just that. Uh, so I hope you got all that correct and I hope you found this useful. Uh, we'll continue to do uh, some multiple choice questions throughout uh, the rest of the topics of the syllabus and I will see you in the next video.